New developments tonight. One person is dead after an officer involved shooting on Green Bay's west side today. Local 5 News was the first on the scene this afternoon. Paul Stino has the full report for us tonight. It is something Daniel Van Cohenberg thought he'd never see in his neighborhood. I just drove by, I mean, and I see all the cops. I'm wondering what the heck's going on. <laughs> Several dozen police cars converging near the intersection of Green Ridge Drive and Open Gate Trail on Green Bay's west side. The line of squad cars spilling over onto Mason Street. Law enforcement officials said they responded to a weapons violation call. When they located a vehicle believed to be involved, a person fired a weapon. There was an exchange of gunfire. Uh, the officer was not injured. One person was struck by gunfire and was taken from the scene to a local hospital. We're told that that person has died and that law enforcement officials did find a firearm at the scene. The Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is leading the investigation right now. This is very early in what will undoubtedly be a very long and very detailed investigation. Throughout the afternoon, investigators combing the scene for clues about what exactly happened, their work extending into the night. As neighbors like Daniel Van Cohenberg continue to wonder how this could have happened in their neighborhood. And I know a lot of people in this neighborhood. I'm just hoping nobody that I know got hurt. That officer is on administrative leave per department policy. In Green Bay, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.